Hello everyone, it's Josh here from Loveridge Designs. This week on Getting Into It with Loveridge Designs, we're going to cover the importance of colour grading in video production. Colour grading is the process of improving the appearance of an image for presentation in various environments. Various attributes of an image such as contrast, colour, saturation, detail, black level and white point may be enhanced to improve the look and feel of a piece. The communication of emotion and story through the lens is one of the most powerful tools a cinematographer has at their disposal. The precision of a well graded image can often augment the sense of a story within a scene or even completely transform it. Without colour grading, an image may look flat, boring or even disjointed. As a content creator becomes more proficient at colour grading, he or she can leverage the power of colour tone to influence the emotional tension within a scene. Grading at this level can transform an unsighting frame into a moment of cinematic magic. If you aren't applying any colour grading to either your photographs or videos, you are potentially missing a vital part of the process of finalising your image. Colour grading is nothing new. For years, DSLR videographers have been shooting flat. By flat we mean we shoot with a profile that tries to avoid baking in too much information into the compressed video file. Aspects like sharpness, contrast and colour saturation are typically elements we don't want to define too strongly in camera. And there is a good reason for this, but let's look at colour specifically. Colour is so important because, like lighting, it affects the mood and feel of a piece, and therefore how we interpret the final image. Often a flat image that comes out of the camera looks lifeless, but this is the intent. But you may ask, why would we want to start with a lifeless image? Well, we want to spend the time to really be able to achieve a particular look in post-production, where we have dedicated tools that allow us to do so much more than on-set modifications. Colour grading shouldn't be the last, barely cared about step in a complex workflow. Rather, it should be what drives the entire content creation process. Regardless of which colour grading tools are used, it should be mastered in a way that maximises the benefit of all of the above so that you can not only create the best possible content piece, but also so that the content can connect to the world around you. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch the video. I hope you found it both informative and engaging. Until next time.